Okay, today I'm working on an LCD TV. There's a model number right there. Well, this TV came in here with a rather unusual symptom. When you would plug in the TV, you'd see the red LED come on. And when you hit the power button, it would turn blue. But for some reason, only part of the power supply would turn on. I thought that was rather unusual. So what I, what I noticed was that I had my, uh, I had a 12 volt output here, and I had a 5 volt output. But for some reason, when we go to the other end of the board here, where it looks like you've got the voltage output for the ballast that drives the, uh, the, the backlight, I had nothing coming out there. By the way, I, when, once I got it working, I measured the BAL negative and positive, uh, and I measured um, 56 volts on AC. And it, I don't know uh, how accurate my meter was, since it's probably fairly high frequency stuff, way above 60 cycle, whatever's coming out of there. But anyway, um, it, this was missing. And the other thing that was missing was the backlight turn-on uh, signal. I had nothing there. So, first I thought maybe part of the power supply was bad because, well, to see part of only part of it come on, it just made me suspicious. But then when I noticed there was no turn-on signal from the main board to my backlight, I figured, well, maybe it's a main board problem. So I went online. I'm, I'm looking to see what... Uh, what sort of deals I can find on eBay for a, a main board. And I noticed that Shop Jimmy was offering this uh, EEPROM here, what they said would often fix this particular symptom. Well, I was skeptical, but I figured, well, 20 bucks or whatever it was, something like that, it was a lot cheaper than buying a new main board. Put it in, and sure enough, it worked. Anyway, the location number on that one is U16. Let me see, where is it? There we are. U16. It's an 8-pin eight, eight EEPROM. Fairly easy to solder on there. So, anyway, a special thanks to Shop Jimmy. I'm glad they're offering uh, parts so the do-it-yourselfer can do it himself. I wouldn't have thought that the EEPROM would be responsible for causing only uh, part of the power supply to come on, but apparently it was. The other thing I noticed about this TV was that once the light changed on the bottom of the display here, on the bezel that is, once it changed blue you couldn't get it to switch back by hitting the power button. So again that suggested a mainboard problem but like I said it turned out to be the uh, EEPROM. Alright, hope you found the video helpful. If you like it please give me a thumbs up.